Hey there, my name is Austin Zabak, and in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about public speaking, right? Why it's the number one fear in America, and how you can actually get over your fear of public speaking, go out there, stand on stage, and ultimately dominate, okay? With literally no fear whatsoever. First and foremost, though, let's take a step back and let's decide why is public speaking the number one fear in the United States of America and most likely in the world, okay? If you guys didn't know already, public speaking is more feared than skydiving and even spiders, right? People, 75% of Americans would actually rather get bitten by a spider somewhere very, very, very high, right? Because a lot of you guys might know that heights, spiders, and public speaking all rank the top three most feared things in the United States of America. So why is it that people are so afraid to speak publicly to other people, to stand on a stage, to stand in front of their classroom, to present a project? Maybe you're just in college, you have to go present a project, right? Or maybe you have to go speak to thousands of people. Maybe you just have to do a meeting at your workplace in a conference room and present something on the computer, right? Or on the TV, some sort of PowerPoint. And you're nervous, you're afraid, you're like, you don't wanna do it, okay? In this video, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how you can get over that fear, stay tuned. Tip number one, speak as if you're speaking to each individual person one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I know it sounds like super, super simple. I'm telling you, I've been there, I've done it. The, the time, I've, there's been more times than I can count where I've been massively afraid. I've been nervous, my palms were sweating, my face was sweating, and I did not want to go out and speak. I remember the first time that I ever spoke publicly, I had to chug two beers just to go out and do it. And I was still nervous as crap, okay? Now remember, if there's 500 people in an audience, Remember, you're not speaking to 500 people, okay? Eliminate that out of your mind right now. And remember, you're speaking to 500 people one-on-one, -on -one, right? So when you're on stage or you're in front of a bunch of people, focus on individual people, right? Look at one person for 10 or 15 seconds. Then look at another person. Pick five people in the audience or in the room that you can focus on one-on-one -on -one and speak to them individually. Ignore everybody else. It does not matter, okay? That is tip number one. Let's move on to tip number two. Tip number two is to slow down, okay? A lot of you watching this right now, you wanna go really fast. You get on stage, you get in front of that room, you get in front of your audience, and initially and naturally, you wanna speed up. You wanna get this thing done. Remember that the average public speaking pace is about 115 to 150 words per minute. What research has found is that people that are nervous speak anywhere between 200 and 300 words per minute, right? They go way too fast. Slow way down and think, right? Remember, it's not a bad thing to pause while you're speaking. As a matter of fact, pausing is actually something that the professional public speakers do more often. It creates anticipation and people wonder what it is that you're going to say next. So slow down, pace yourself, really think about what you're gonna say next, and don't be afraid to pause. And remember that the audience doesn't know whether that pause was intentional or unintentional. As a matter of fact, the audience has no idea what you're gonna say next anyways. So stop worrying about what the audience is going to think and start worrying about what it is that you're going to deliver regardless of what the audience thinks. They don't know whether you screwed up or that was meant to be or anything in between. They have no idea and you need to remember that when you go out and you're gonna go out and public speak, right? On stage or in a class and whatever it is that you're about to do. Let's jump real quick into tip number three. Tip number three is structure. How do you create structure in your speech? Biggest tip I can give you here is to plan ahead, right? Plan ahead and plan accordingly. You wanna have an outline of what you're gonna talk about and you wanna have a clear ending, or sorry, a clear beginning and a clear ending, okay? And the other thing that you can do is when you go out to initiate your speech or you go out on stage or whatever the case is, give them an outline of what you're gonna talk about. Say, hey, guys, my name's Austin Zayback, and over the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna talk about five ways that you can get over public speaking fears, right? Now the audience has some expectation of what it is that you're gonna say. Here's an example of what not to do. Hey guys, my name is Austin Zayback, and over the next three hours, we're going to talk about 467 ways that you can get over the fears of public speaking, right? You don't want to do that. 
They're already freaking bored. Now they can expect you to go on and on and on and on and on. They're, you're prefacing the audience and the, and the speech and the whole thing for them to get bored. You don't wanna do that. You wanna avoid that completely. So keep it short, keep it simple, keep it sweet, have structure and give them a plan of action. What are you gonna talk about? How long is it gonna be? And get to the point, right? Give them something to look forward to, okay? That's tip number three. Let's move really quick into tip number four. Tip number four is to act as if. What the heck do I mean by that? Here's what I mean. I mean, you gotta talk good to yourself, right? So many people, they go out on stage and, and the whole time, the day before, the day, the week before, the month before, the moment before they go out, they're, ta they're, fit, they're talking to themselves like they're gonna fail. They're gonna vomit. The audience is gonna think they suck. This, that, and the third. The problem with that is, yeah, you're gonna freaking fail. The law of attraction, God, the universe, however you wanna look at it, you can't negative self-talk yourself like that. You gotta go out there, you're gonna freaking dominate this thing, right? Nobody can stop you. You've already freaking done it, right? Act as if you're a champion, as if you've done it a thousand times, as if you've been preparing for a year, as if you're a freaking rock star, as if you know exactly what you're gonna talk about and you don't care about anyone else's opinion because you're there to deliver the real, raw, authentic truth and your message all in one, the audience is gonna think that you did a phenomenal job, right? Act as if, okay? That's tip number four. Really quick, stay tuned. We're gonna jump right into tip number five. Last but not least, tip number five, you wanna learn, right? You wanna study, you wanna grow, you wanna gain a bunch of knowledge in what it is that you're speaking about, right? You can't go on stage and talk about something that you have no knowledge in because you're gonna get nervous, right? You're not gonna know what to talk about. You're gonna stumble on your words. You're gonna, the, the audience is going to make you afraid. You're gonna get nervous. You're gonna get sweaty. You're gonna start going faster. The whole thing's gonna explode. You don't wanna do that, right? I'm telling you right now, if you know what it is that you're about to talk about, you'll be able to do it seamlessly. So practice, learn, study, and truly prepare for the speech that you're about to give. I promise you, if you go into that speech prepared and you know exactly what it is, that you're about to talk about, this thing will be a piece of cake. Along with that, you take the other four tips we just talked about, this thing is easy peasy, you'll make it happen, and you'll come back to this video, you'll drop in the comment section down below that you're a freaking rock star, and you're gonna motivate everybody else to go out there and do the exact same thing. Last bonus tip is to get a good night's rest and don't drink a lot of caffeine or anything that's gonna make you any more anxious than you already are. Okay, that's it. With these five simple steps, you're going to be able to go out there and deliver a speech perfectly. That's it. With those five tips, you're going to be able to go out there and deliver a phenomenal speech, okay? The audience is going to love it. You're going to think you did a great job, and then it's gonna make it that much easier every single time you do it. And before you know it, you're gonna be an expert on public speaking or delivering a message in a way where the audience takes it very well, and you obviously think you did a great job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.